Hi, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and this is an upgrade video of the existing video we discussed on Excel Data Reader on our many courses like Code UI Testing, Selenium Automation and also Automation Framework Development with Selenium C Sharp course where we discussed how to work with Excel sheet and how to read the data from an Excel sheet by creating some of the helpers over here and also in our Excel Automation channel and YouTube channel as well as in the ExilAutomation.com website we discussed about Excel Data Reader to read the data from the Excel sheet and the code was pretty much like this as you can see here it had a file stream to open the file and we used the IE Excel Data Reader to read the XLS file and then we read the data and it was working fine and also there was a continuation of this particular video if you go here in the part 2 you can see that it has an option to store the data into a collection and read the data from the collection using these particular methods and actually I have uploaded this whole project into our github of exit automation channel so if you could go over there I have created a repository where you can see something called as data reader and this data reader project is going to be an ongoing project where it's going to read data from json xml or excel file but as of now it is going to work only with excel so you can see that this is the information of that particular uh, project and i have already uploaded this project into our github and you can see this is the complete source code of the project which is nothing but our existing code project which is nothing but this one right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to our github over here and then I'm going to download this particular project or clone this particular project into my local machine so I'm going to open this in Explorer and I'm going to open this particular project right so I will show you very quickly how the code has been written basically the code is written in such a way that it's going to exactly replicate the same thing that we discussed in our previous videos as well as in our advanced framework development course you can see it is going to read the data by first of all populating the excel sheet into the collection and then it's going to read using the excelutil.read method to read the username and password so you can see the same code it is excelutil is going to have the same code right so now if i run this particular piece of code it is going to read the username and password like karthik and password as abc123 right so these are coming basically from this particular excel sheet so if you just open this you can see the username is Karthik and password is abc123 so this is what I'm actually reading from our program.cs file right this is the row one and I'm gonna read the data so that's simple it is it's very very easy as well so what happened recently and why I'm suddenly releasing this particular video as an upgrade video well if you go to the references of this particular project by going to the manage NuGet package this particular package actually has an update the last version we installed was 2.1.2.3 which was actually released very long time ago and there is a new version available right now with version 3.0 and if you try to update this particular package there is some breaking change in this particular project and that's the reason I have actually created this particular video itself because it's going to be helpful for both the advanced framework development course subscribers or the students who have enrolled in the course as well as the community who are actually using this particular videos to read the data from excel sheet all right and now if i go to the program.cs you can see there is no problem but if you go to the excelutil.cs you can see the first thing is using excel is actually there is a scrolly line meaning this particular directive is missing and there is some problem with the excel reader factory as well as the i data reader so what happened to this particular method what really happened in here well there is a breaking change here actually the namespace itself is changed in the excel data reader so if you just use using and if you put excel you can see this time it is excel data reader rather excel so they have changed the namespace first of all and even if you add this this particular issue will be resolved but you can see that the is first row as common column name and as data set method has some problem and this is kind of an extension method right now it is not available out of the box straight away so what you have to do let me first delete this particular piece of code and now let me go once again to the references and add the reference using the manage NuGet package go to browse and then search for excel data reader once again 
And you can see there is one more Excel data reader dot data set. So this is something pretty new. It has released just three days before or four days before I'm recording this particular video. So both of them are pretty new packages and it is kind of very, very new. So I'm gonna install this particular package. So this is gonna add an extension method to our existing library. All right, it is added. And now if I go to the excelital.cs file, you can see that as data set is okay right now, this particular issue has been resolved because that's gonna be an extension method. So if you just hit dot, you can see there is an arrow there, meaning it's an extension method, right? It was not the case before. And its first row as column name again has a problem because this particular option itself is currently not being supported and you can't really find this particular option at all. So meaning our existing code will never work at all. So how to fix this particular issue? We are gonna write some few new codes here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this particular method name and I'm gonna interchange this particular uh, method with a new format this time. So I'm gonna hit control KC to command this particular piece of code and then I'm gonna create exactly the same method name over here and then I'm gonna write a new logic this time. So first thing which I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna first open the file. So for opening the file, I'm gonna use the using var, let's say stream is equal to file dot open method. So it's pretty much exactly like what we did before. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna pass the file name, uh, something like this, and then file mode, which is nothing but open, right? And then I'm gonna give the file access as read. All right, so the file has been read right now. And the next thing we need to do is to read the file, which is nothing but the XLS file or XML file or XLS file. So in order to do that, again, I'm gonna use a generic method this time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this, var reader is equal to reader dot, reader is equal to Excel reader factory. So there is a factory method available. So Excel, Excel reader factory, all right. And then there is something called as create reader method. So this create reader method is a generic method where it will automatically detect what kind of file extension it is whether it can be in an XLS file or Excel file or XML file. So I'm gonna pass it over here. So I'm gonna pass the stream over here. And then I'm also going to read the data set. So this particular method, right? Which was not available out of the box right now. So how to add this particular code? I'm gonna do something like this. So var result is equal to reader dot, there's something called as, as data set that we know. And then I'm gonna make use of another class, which is nothing but the Excel dataset configuration class, this one, all right? It actually has a very cool feature. I actually like it. So what it does is basically, you can create the configuration data table in here, something like this. So there is a property called configuration data table where you can use the anonymous method something like this or delegates where you can just call the Excel data table configuration and you can use the header row is equal to true, right? So this particular logic is gonna be pretty much like this logic as you can see here. So this is the configuration and this is over here, right? And the rest of the code is pretty much the same. Even I can just copy paste this particular piece of code without any problem. So I can something like this. I'm gonna paste it over here. Let's say control K U. Don't come on this piece of code. All right, pretty much exactly the same thing. That's it. So this is the change in our code. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna build this particular piece of code this time. And our code is ready right now. Basically it should work without any problem. So I'm gonna do a breakpoint here. And also let me go over to the excel.cs here and let's come here to breakpoint there and F10, there we go. And this should actually store the data into the result table. Let's see what is there in the result table, data visualizer, there we go. We can see that we have a username and password column as well as the data inside them. Meaning it is actually reading the particular data and now if I do an F5, you can see the same result. Username is Karthik and password is ABC123. So this is the breaking change in the code and this is what I was about to mention 
that this particular piece of code has literally changed in the new package and you have to write this logic to read the data from an Excel sheet rather using this particular method. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.